Hello everybody, I am Tadashi Mori and in this video here I will show you how to make this origami little wukong. There is little monkeys here by Trunk Trunk Hill. Well, for this origami here you don't need any special paper. As you can see here I made three different ones with three different paper. And this one is made of color plus paper, printer paper and this one is tie on you paper. So there's no need to find any special paper to make this origami. Okay, so let's start. To make this origami, we're going to choose one paper, one rectangle of 3 to 1 ratio. This one has 30 centimeters by 10 centimeters. So start by folding here the side of the paper like this. Now unfold the paper and fold here to the other direction. Now unfold the paper and make a fold from this point to this point here. So it's going to be something like this. And by doing this you can see that you, you made a mark here on the first square okay now you're going to make a fold making this line here this line here go up to this line here we're basically doing the same thing on the second square so you're going to fold here the paper like this now unfold and do the same thing here on the other direction making this line go up to this side of the paper. Now unfold the paper again. And the paper is going to look like this. And as you can see here, you have the first square here and the second square here. Okay, now you're going to fold the paper in half along this direction here okay and unfold the paper now you're going to make a fold along this line here from this point to this point and unfold again now you're going to make a fold dividing this line here in half. So basically make a fold making this line go up to this line here. So it's going to be something like this. Okay, now unfold the paper and the model is going to look like this. Okay, now fold making this line here go up to this line here. So you're going to divide this part in half one more time. Okay, so just fold like this and unfold the model. Okay, I marked the lines here to make it easier for you to see the lines. And at this point you're going to divide here the paper in half along this direction. But you're going to stop here along on this line. So basically it's something like this. You have to fold and stop the fold when you reach this line here. Okay? So the model is going to look like this. Now fold the paper in half again. And now I will mark here some lines to make it easier for you to see the references. So now you're going to fold along this line here, okay? So make here a mountain fold along this line, and you're going to make a fold along this small line here. So just make here a fold like this, and unfold these two last folds. Now you're going to make a fold along this line here, 
make a fold now like this making this line here go up to this line here Now make a fold like this, making this point here go up to this point here. So you're just going to fold this small triangle, okay? So only here, fold strongly and unfold. And the model is going to look like this, okay? So unfold here and mark here this fold again just make it easier to fold it later so mark these two lines again right okay now hold the paper like this okay and you're going to open here the side this side of the paper like this okay so as you can see, I still didn't squash the paper, this part. Now you're going to fold, making this line here go up to this line here. So basically you're just going to fold the top part in half, like this, and unfold the model. Now you're going to fold these two lines in half. So fold this line up to this line now do the same thing here on the bottom line so just fold the bottom part in half And by doing this, we just divided here the paper in four parts, like this. Right. Now you're going to open here the model, and you're going to make a sequence here of valley folds and mountain folds. So, uh, keep in mind that this side here is going to be the part with color okay so if you're if you are using a paper with color only on one side this side is going to have color and the other side is going to be white now let's make here a mountain fold along this line here so we just made here a mountain fold along the first line here okay I mean this line here now you're going to make a valley fold along the second line this line is here okay and you're going to make a mountain fold on the last line too let me let me show you how to fold I think it's better to, to see the result than explaining As you can see, I just made here a sequence of valley folds and mountain folds along all those lines. And the model is going to look like this. So, now you're going to hold the paper like this, and you're going to press here the back side of the model along the middle layer making it open like this and at the same time as you can see you made here a mountain fold along this first line and then you press here the side the side of these layers and squash the model now you're going to do the same thing here but at but this time you're going to open two layers instead of one. So I just open it here, one layer. 
pressing the back side of the model. Now you're going to press here the front side of the model and open one more layer. And the model is going to look like this. Now you're going to press the sides of the paper again and carefully close here these two layers. And the model is going to look like this. Okay, so turn the model over. Now you're going to fold making this point here go up to the middle of this square. Now do the same thing here on the other side. Now you're going to make a fold, making this point here go up to this point here. Now unfold and you're going to make a fold making this line here go up to this line here. Now fold making this line here go up to this line here. Do the same thing here on the other side. Now make a fold making this line here go up to this line here. Now unfold these three folds. So the model will look like this. Now you're going to make here a zigzag fold okay, along these lines we just made. And the model will look like this. Now you're going to fold here the sides of this zigzag. And basically you just have to press here and make a fold along this first line. Okay? And press the side of the paper and the model will look like this okay so do the same thing here on the other side so press along this line here then press the side of the paper and the model will look like this Okay, now turn the model over, and this part here is going to be a little bit difficult, okay, so this part here the model will not lie flat anymore, so it's a little bit difficult. So you have to press here, at this point, okay, and as you can see you're going to make a mountain fold along this triangle here, and at the same time you're going to pull here this layer. Okay, upward and make a fold here inside. Continue, do the same thing here on the other side. And as you can see, you just have to continue this V shaped fold. Okay, and the model will look like this for now. And it's not going to lie flat, so turn the model over. And at this point, you have to press here one layer, this layer here, you have to press to make it fold like this, okay? So you have two triangles on the back. Okay. Okay, now fold here, this point, up to the middle of the square. I know you don't have the reference right now, but try to fold up to the middle of this square, okay? Then unfold and make a reverse fold along this line. So 
so it's going to be something like this do the same thing here fold the side up to the middle unfold and then reverse fold so now let's make the ear and it's going to be like this press here the top part and you're going to open this layer here okay so just open this layer and make a fold inside like this and fold the tip backward and the model is going to look like this do the same thing here on the other side so just open the ear then fold the tip backward like this Now you're going to fold this part here downward up to this point here, about this much here, okay? Then you're going to fold the tip here backward just to make the head a little bit more round and it's going to look like this. Now fold here this top flap here backward just to hide this layer and leave a small a small layer here above the head like this okay and fold this layer backward so do the same thing here on the other side so press here then fold backward leaving a small gap here on the top part and that's it the model is going to look like this okay now let's make just let's adjust here the head a little bit and now let's make the body part so you just have to hold here the shape of the model like this and you're going to pull here the tail backward as you can see inside it's going to open like this okay and basically that's it the model is finished you just have to adjust here the details as you can see in this one here I, I use it a better color and I narrow it the tail a little bit so that's it i hope you enjoyed this video and if you liked the video please don't forget to click on the like button and even to subscribe to my channel so thanks for watching see you bye bye